My name is Riku Hariyama. Today, I'm at a wedding company with my fiancé to discuss our wedding plans. We're going to do our best to plan an amazing wedding for you guys, Mr. Hirayama and Ms. Kamishoro. Yes, yes please. please! Is that Hirayama-kun? I'm so surprised! I never would have thought that my ex-boyfriend would have a wedding at the wedding company I work at! Okay, so could you let me know what kind of wedding that the both of you had in mind? Let's see. We'd like to have a ceremony where we can invite as many people as possible. There are a lot of people that have helped us out over the years. All right, let's go with the biggest hall then. My parents are quite picky with what they eat, so I'd like to choose the option with the best quality food. Understood. Let's discuss the menu in detail later on as well. What? Are they planning on having an expensive, high-quality wedding? The groom is just Kiriyama kun though. Oh, I can't believe him. Wow. Looks like it's going to be a bigger wedding than what I had imagined. I'm sorry. My parents are picky when it comes to weddings. Nah, it's fine. I understand how your parents feel. They want the best wedding possible for their one and only daughter. I'm so glad you're a kind and understanding person. <laughs> really, thank you for everything. Don't worry about it. But it looks like there's going to be a lot of meetings to discuss the small details. Let's do our best to make time in between our work schedules. Yep, but I'm just happy I get to spend more time with you, Riku. That makes me happy, too. But when we arrived at the second meeting for our wedding, I came face to face with someone I didn't want to see. I apologize, but your wedding planner had to take off because she wasn't feeling very well. I'll be taking care of you guys today. Amy? Riku, are you okay? Uh, well... <laughs> well, we actually know each other personally. Isn't that right, Hirayama-kun? Yeah, that's right. I see. Can't believe my ex is going to play my wedding! That's a bit awkward. I should probably explain everything to Sachi later on. Um, so, we brought the invitation list that we were told to put together last time. Seems like a big list. You guys are also going with one of the most expensive plans we have. How are you guys able to afford a wedding like this? I couldn't have imagined something like this from the old Hirayama-kun. When I told him I wanted to get married, he said that we didn't need a ceremony because it's too expensive and that wedding photos were enough. <laughs> Kamishira-san, he must really love you if he's willing to spend this much money on you. <laughs> Congratulations. Um, how do you guys know each other? Um, well... Our wedding planner, aka my ex-girlfriend, kept giving unnecessary comments. Our second meeting was a disaster! Is this ex the one you mentioned before? The one that kept saying you'd be a bad husband and ended up dumping you for another guy? You remember that conversation we had before we started dating when I was venting to you? Yeah, that's her. Who would have thought we'd end up meeting her now? Of course I remember! I thought it was stupid that she said you wouldn't be a good husband when you're such a motivated and amazing person! I was ready to fight her! I was like, then I'll make him fall in love with me instead! What?! That's how you felt? Must be bad luck that you had to see her again. Maybe she's not doing so well with the guy she left you for? I hope that our actual wedding planner assists us for the next meeting. Yeah, me too. Don't worry, if your ex is in charge of the meeting next time, I'll ask if they can change our wedding planner myself. On the day of the third meeting, we had a fitting scheduled that day. I apologize about the last meeting. Were you okay? It's embarrassing to say, but I must have eaten something bad. This is homemade. Try some. Thank you. Wow, it looks amazing on you. Do... do you like it? Yeah, you look beautiful. Wow, are you guys scheduled for a fitting today? Ugh, she's here again. Hirayama kun you have to be honest with her. Your lovely wife is going to be embarrassed during the actual ceremony. The dress is too extravagant for her ugly I mean, her plain facial features and are going to stand out more than that dress, you know? 
People like her should stay away from poofy dresses. It must be so sad to have a dress take all the attention away from your face. <laughs> but I mean, as expected from the girl you decided to marry, she doesn't seem like much. If you have enough money to throw an extravagant wedding, you should have chosen a better woman. Oh, you're still so stupid, Yurayama kun. Hey! Stop that! I don't care what you say about me, but don't disrespect my fiance! And listen, she's the only daughter of the head of the Sekafushi Company. Based on her household situation, she has much more money than me. Uh, what? <laughs> so you're the gold digger? <laughs> oh, please, Riku. Also, he's not a gold digger. Riku works at the top of his company, too. So we're on the same income level. <gasps> what? Riku's the head of a company? Didn't you get hired to be in the tech department of a small company? I started up my own business after that. After two years, we had to merge with another company. Ah, uh, that's so lame. Basically, your company wasn't doing that great and another company took over, right? It wasn't a bad merge. The Sekafushi company was able to team up with skilled engineers like Riku-san. With the combined efforts, both companies were able to profit more. You must be living such a complacent life to assume that someone hasn't changed from when you last knew them. Hey! How dare you talk to the Sekafushi Company's next CEO like that! Cut it out already! What? The next CEO? You're planning to take over the company you merged with? Uh, why? You started your own business, merged with a huge company, and got rich. Why didn't you do that while we were still together? You're trying to ruin the happiness of someone you once loved and bring in your personal issues to work! Do you think that being with someone like that is a good influence? If he started succeeding after you two broke up, haven't you ever thought that you were probably the one preventing him from achieving things? You can't be a wedding planner if you can't be happy for someone else's happiness. You should be embarrassed! After that event, I found out that my ex was relocated to a different branch in the countryside. Finally, it's the day of our wedding. Yep, there was a lot that happened during the planning period. Hey, Sachi. Is it true that you talked to the owner of the wedding company so that my ex wouldn't be fired? Yeah, I also said no to any consolation money. Why'd you do all that for her? It makes sense that she feels upset for letting a good guy like you get away. Plus, it wouldn't be nice to have a wedding after bringing someone to their downfall, right? Ah, <sighs> that's absolutely true. Please welcome the bride and the groom. I hated the fact that I had to reunite with my ex-girlfriend and that she tried to get in the way of our happy wedding. But nonetheless, I've decided to let it go because I was able to see once again what an amazing person my wife is. Thank you for watching all the way to the end. Make sure to subscribe and click the bell for notifications.